just when we thought the Tesla price changes couldn't get any more complicated, this happens. The IRS just completely flipped and changed their policy for the EV tax credit as it pertains to electric vehicle crossovers. Specifically today, we're talking about the Tesla Model Y. So if you are looking to buy a Tesla Model Y or if you've already bought one since January 1st, 2023, you will wanna watch this video because this will change how the EV tax credit works for your Model Y possibly and will save you some money because there may be some price hikes happening very soon because of this. Let's talk about what happened. The IRS basically went back and changed the price limit for electric SUVs, including the Tesla Model Y, the Ford Mustang Mach-E, the Volkswagen ID4, and the Cadillac Lyric. So if you are interested in any of these vehicles, this new change will affect you. So back in August, when the IRS released their uh, price limits for the vehicles, they weirdly priced the Model Y at the $55,000 price limit, which meant if you ordered a Model Y or you configured a Model Y that cost more than $55,000, then that would not be eligible for the full tax credit, uh, which really in theory, it should have been $80,000 price limit. Well, this caused Tesla to reduce their prices on the Model Y so that it was eligible. Well, now IRS has raised that price limit for all Model Ys. So as long as your Model Y costs less than $80,000 during your configuration and your order, it should be eligible for that full $7,500 tax credit. If you've taken delivery or plan to take delivery of a Model Y anytime after January 1st, 2023, then you should be eligible for at least $3,750 maybe the full 7,500, depending on how that all works out. But if you take delivery by March, then you should be able to take advantage of that full $7,500 tax credit. Now, you wanna contact your CPA and run the numbers, make sure that you're eligible for that because there are other rules. But basically, this allows pretty much all Model Y configurations uh, retroactively going back to January 1st to be eligible for the full $7,500 tax credit. So good news for those of you who've ordered a Model Y that costs more than $55,000 since January 1st. And it doesn't just affect Model Y buyers. Of course, this you know pertains to uh, the other EVs that I mentioned. So if you're interested in any, any type of electric SUV, this is great news for you. The bad news is that this might make Tesla increase the prices again for the Model Y. We'll have to wait and see. We all know that Tesla changes their prices accordingly based on what's happening with the EV tax credit. So now that the Model Y is at that $80,000 price limit, they could technically raise the prices of the Model Y. As long as it is under that $80,000 limit, they can probably bank on people ordering and at least more people ordering if they're eligible for that full tax credit. It might, I mean, that's what it all is. It's an, it's an incentive to get people to order. So they could play around some pricing and I wouldn't be surprised if they have another price increase, a major price increase for the Model Y to go back up to the prices that it, it was before they changed the prices or reduced the prices drastically not too long ago. So this is just something to keep in mind. If you are interested in buying a Model Y, this might be the best time to jump on it right now. And you know that you're at least going to be eligible for that full tax credit as long as your configuration stays under $80,000. And of course you meet the other criteria. I'm not a tax professional, so make sure you consult yours to uh, get the final uh, go ahead for if you are eligible for that. So the good news is the car itself will be eligible for that based on the news that just came out from the IRS. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Were you expecting this? Are you glad this happened? Are you gonna be buying a Model Y now uh, or any other electric SUV? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.